And on to the next category, which is tablets. So the top contenders in the tablets uh, category this year are the iPad 2 and the Kindle Fire. So the iPad 2 is the first tab I'm going to start off with here. So the iPad 2 is perfect for anybody that wants to consume and create media at the same time. Uh, it has a front-facing camera for FaceTime video chatting, and it also have a, has a back camera for HD video and photos. Uh, it is razor thin. It has a large screen. It's about 9.7 inches, I believe, or around there, almost 10 inches, basically. Uh, and its standard model is Wi-Fi only, so you can connect to uh, Wi-Fi hotspots, or you can also get a Wi-Fi and a 3G model uh, all in one so you can connect to either Verizon or AT&T's uh, 3G networks depending on which carrier you have. Um, so that is really good for like if you're out in the car or if you're out somewhere where there's no Wi-Fi available. Um, it has most features from the iPhone like the iCloud, like iCloud uh, FaceTime and iMessaging just like all Apple devices, it works well with um, all other Apple products. Um, so if you have an Apple TV, you can uh, airplay videos to your Apple TV. So you can watch movies where you left off at on your iPad or vice versa um, from your TV. There are plenty of productivity apps available on the App Store, so you can get your gift receiver started right with a few of the apps that are made by Apple, like iMovie, so that you're, if your gift receiver is interested in doing some video editing on the go, you can uh, buy them the iMovie app so that they can video edit. Uh, you can create music in GarageBand, uh, create documents and pages, and produce presentations in Keynote, and there are much, much more. Those are just the ones made by Apple. There are plenty of other third-party uh, apps that are available on the App Store that are great for producing content. Um, so the cons on the iPad 2, it is pricey. It starts at um, 500 bucks for a 16 gigabyte model and that is just the Wi-Fi version. Um, and then the only other con is really it's not the most portable tablet out there. Like I said earlier on, it is just about 10 inches. Uh, the screen is about um, a 10 inch screen. so it isn't the most portable tablet out there. I'm not saying it's not portable at all. It's just not the best tablet when it comes to portability. Um, so the pricing, like I said before, it starts at $499 for a 16 gigabyte Wi-Fi model. Uh, so that's just Wi-Fi only. Then it goes up to $599 for 32 gigabytes, and then $699 for 64 gigabytes. So it starts at uh, $500 for the uh, Wi-Fi model and it can go all the way up to 700 bucks for the Wi-Fi model and that's 16 to 64 um, 1632 and 64 gigabytes those are the three available models when it comes to Wi-Fi only and then for Wi-Fi and 3G uh, it starts at 629 for a 16 gigabyte uh, 729 for 32 gigabytes and 829 for a 64 gigabyte so it can get up there uh, in the pricing so that's the iPad 2 and now on to the Kindle Fire. And on to the Kindle Fire. So the Fire is an awesome tablet for anybody that just wants to consume media. Uh, the iPad is more for somebody who wants to consume and create stuff. But the Fire is just for somebody who wants to watch movies, uh, view photos, read books, magazines, just consume stuff and not create like on the iPad. Um, it is a smaller tablet. The iPad is almost 10 inches. The screen is almost 10 inches, but the Kindle Fire is a 7-inch tablet. So it is much more portable than the uh, iPad is, but it is also, again, smaller. So, uh, I mean, it is very portable, but uh, just depending on what your gift receiver wants, uh, could come down to what makes the decision as far as size goes. Um, it has a feature called Whisper Sync that syncs all of your book reading data between all of your different Kindles. Um, so if you start reading a book on a 
another Kindle, you can pick it up right where you left off on your Kindle Fire. And that actually works between all Kindles, not just the Fire. So that's actually a very cool feature. Um, if you're an Amazon Prime customer, you can get all of uh, Amazon's digital movies to stream to your Amazon uh, Kindle Fire for free. So if you're a Amazon Prime customer, you could watch all of the digital movies available on uh, Amazon for free. So you can just select a, movie, select a movie you want to watch and you can immediately watch it on your Fire without uh, paying a dime and without having to download anything because it is streaming straight to the device. So that is a very uh, useful and cool feature to have. Um, and the same thing also goes for books, but there's a much uh, wider library when it comes to movies and TV shows. And speaking about Amazon Prime, uh, if you are not an Amazon Prime user, uh, it does come with one month free of Amazon Prime, the Fire. So once you take it out of the box, if you're not a Prime customer, you get a taste of Prime for a month so that you can try it out and see if it's something that you want to sign up for. So uh, I believe Amazon Prime also allows you to, when you're shopping on Amazon.com, you can select two-day shipping and have two-day shipping on all items you buy from Amazon. So Prime is actually a very... A Wow, a very nice feature to uh, to have if you're an Amazon customer, period. Um, another good feature is called Amazon Cloud, which is very similar to iCloud on iOS. So Amazon Cloud almost does the same thing that iCloud does. It has all of your uh, Amazon digital content up in the uh, Amazon Cloud. So all of the movies you've bought through Amazon, all the music, um, books, magazines, all that stuff that you've bought, all media you've bought through Amazon uh, is stored in the cloud and not on your device. So when you want to listen to a song, let's say, you can just instantly stream it through Amazon Cloud and not have to take up any storage on your device. And the same thing goes for movies. So uh, you can really uh, get a lot of content on your Kindle Fire without having to take up any space, uh, whether it's through Amazon Cloud or Amazon Prime or both. Um, so yeah, that Amazon Cloud is completely free uh, and is a very nice feature to have. Now the operating system is very easy to just pick up and start using. Uh, it's just like the iPad, very simple, straight to the point. Um, it is based on Android, like the under, uh, the underlying operating system is Android, but it is kind of a skinned over version of Android, so it can feel very familiar to uh, Android because again, it really is, but it's very simple uh, and easy to use. So the pricing on the Kindle Fire is 200 bucks. It's Wi-Fi only, no 3G, at least no 3G yet. Maybe we'll see some further down the road, but. Uh, 200 bucks Wi-Fi only is a great price point uh, for a tablet. And yeah, and I also forgot to mention that there is an app store, so you can get, uh, you can, it's an Amazon app marketplace. So the Amazon app marketplace is on uh, the desktop. It's the same one on the Kindle Fire. So you can download uh, all your Android apps straight to your Kindle Fire and whatever apps that you've already bought through the Amazon uh, app marketplace can be synced straight to your Kindle Fire too so you don't have to rebuy a bunch of different apps. So Amazon is making sure that uh, you're going to have plenty of content on your Kindle Fires through Amazon Cloud, uh, Amazon Prime, and the app marketplace. So it is a really good device for anybody that just wants to consume media. So uh, I definitely recommend this tablet for your gift receiver. So which one do I think between the iPad and the Kindle Fire? Well, they're two different devices, so I cannot pick. The iPad is for somebody that wants to consume media, watch movies, read books, etc., uh, listen to music, and also create. So if they want to make a presentation, create a document, uh, send a bunch of emails, uh, video edit, you know, create stuff. Uh, the iPad is for that person that so wants to do the both, you know, the best of both or best of both worlds. Sorry, I can't talk. Uh, and then the Kindle Fire just for somebody that just wants to consume stuff and not so much create stuff. And the price 
the price difference shows that between the iPad starting at 500 bucks and the Kindle Fire is 200 so yeah so I can't pick between them it's really up to what your gift receiver wants it should be a simple choice to make uh, if they can't decide it just depends on what they want to do with their tablets so for tablets uh, the Kindle Fire and the iPad 2 are the top contenders and it just comes down to what your gift receiver wants the most